Hey everyone, my name is Robert and I'm here bringing you another Gran Turismo YouTube video under my brand, Bobacino. I'm still very new to creating YouTube content, so I usually don't know what to say, especially considering I'm very introverted. But I'm hoping to get better to provide you with the most entertaining, creative, and even educational content possible, while taking you along my journey to becoming a race car driver, starting at possibly the same place as many of you. A car and a dream. So here we go. This week's daily race B has us at Atopolis International's racing course for eight laps, where I'm mostly racing against A rank drivers, even though I'm only a mid B rank driver. But I wish there were enough laps for each daily race to last 30 to 60 minutes. It really determined who has better focus, concentration, and consistency over a long period like real racing. But anyways, I love the new update where the rolling starts have us so much closer in the beginning rather than before. It makes the racing way more competitive. I feel like I have more opportunities to catch the people in front and potentially move up in position now more than ever before. And it looks like the Brazilian may just be pushing a little too hard, causing them to have some issues, but giving me some breathing room to focus more on attacking. As you see, everyone's still very close. I'm gonna just try to get into their slipstream and hope the person in front of me makes just a little bit of a mistake. Looks like there's been some fighting up ahead, resulting in the Shadow Realm getting yet another soul and giving me one more position. I am having a bit of a hard time keeping up to KB Racing, but I'm not trying to push too hard. We were still a little too far away from the American in ninth, so on this long stretch there was no point in fighting and I just decided to bump draft KB Racing. As we go around this turn, I'm not sure what happened just out of turn one, but the Brazilian looks to have had a big crash give me another position. So in three laps I've gone up three positions, which is not too bad. KB Racing is doing a good job with his lines, preventing me from making any moves so far. And I find those message uh, bubbles so distracting, I don't even know why they put them there. Still, I'm still too far away. I can't make a move. Looks like there was a big accident up ahead. Now four positions up. And looks like he just decided to take a quick break after that accident. And look how close this race is. We have everyone from second to tenth going wheel to wheel at this point. 
One thing I am sure is bound to happen is people will start to become frustrated, miss their breaking points, and cause accidents. Uh, KB Racing can't make the pass. Well, KB Racing got passed. Boom, just like I said. That guy just plowed through them like he's moving snow on a cold winter's day. That was ridiculous. Let's see that again. I was lucky to be positioned just to the left of the Brazilian, who looks like they missed their breaking point. That turn is definitely the one you have to watch for. I've seen people go for lunges, miss their breaking point, or worse yet, be pushed wide by someone diving into the curb only to not be able to hold it. But that gave me another two positions moving me up to sixth place. And wow, the Brazilian got a four second penalty for that crash. But the guys behind me are still within range and the guys in front are within view so maybe I can catch up if they start fighting. I find turn one to be tricky for some odd reason. I know in my head I can get through it much faster but it's just not happening. It looks like the gap has opened up behind me, which is ideal. But so has the gap in front. Oh, big mistake by the Argentinian. So maybe I can start to reel them in. I didn't get a good exit out of that last turn. And the Argentinian is right on top of the Brazilian. Ooh, massive hit by the Brazilian, trying to prevent the Argentinian to pass. And luckily that slowdown has reduced the gap substantially. Now I just need to keep pushing without making a mistake myself. But we're getting close at times. Tried for the move on the last turn. He's right beside me as a drag race. But for some reason, he was able to still get past me on this straight. And I think I just showed my hand too early, and he'll be prepared for the next time we go around that turn. Keep pushing. 
This is last lap. I bump him a little bit. I'm being very defensive around the turn. I'm too far away to make a move at this point. And yep, I just couldn't close the gap. And I finished in sixth. Which isn't too bad considering I started in 12th. The next race is up. And once again, it looks like everyone for the most part is using the exact same car with the exception to the Mazda and Honda. Mazda was slow off the line. So I decided to move to the side. Thinking I could possibly make a move. And unfortunately no one created this space. So I just could not make the move at this time. On the first turn without causing an accident. At this point, everyone is really close, so it'll be hard to pull away from those behind us. But there may be an opportunity coming for us to pass. too wide on that last turn, giving the Mazda the opportunity to sneak on through. And maybe the Mazda might have been pushing the Honda just a little bit, leaving me right on the bumper of the Honda. I decided to be a little more aggressive and take the inside again, getting the move done, and just barely end up clipping the rear of the Mazda. So I decided to let off the gas to give him some space. Luckily, we start to pull away from the drivers behind us. But it looks like the Argentinian is slowing me down in the turns, which is where the Alfa Romeo really performs well. Last turn, can I make the move to pass? No, not yet. I might as well just work with him for a little while. See if we get closer to the group in front. I have to say I'm pretty happy I was able to rent this car. Still don't know what the disadvantage to renting a car is besides not being able to put your own brand on it. But it's convenient because I couldn't find this car to purchase at all. Well, 
Last turn. Can I make the move to pass now? I break at the last zero marker, and he takes a turn too wide. I dive into the apex, and I'm sure I have this as I hold fairly well at a high speed. And either, either he wasn't paying attention to his radar, or I just surprised him, because he ends up turning into me last minute, slowing us both down. He was able to recover sooner, and was able to retake his position. It's so irritating. But even though he was able to pull ahead down the straight, I was able to quickly catch back th up through the turn. It looks like he has definitely become more defensive now, so it'll be hard to pass him. We are only halfway through this race, so I might as well try and work with him to see if we can catch up to the American in fifth. The Argentine went wide again, and I take the inside, but he cuts back into the turn without creating space, so I pull out instead of hitting him, which would probably cause me to end up on the grass and ruin, ruining my race. He goes defensive again, leaving me no room to make a move, so I might as well wait and find an opportunity. Still trying to keep close, looking and looking for opportunities. I bump draft him because he would win the drag race down the long straight. I need to definitely make my move in a turn. You can see he's definitely slowing me down.
At this point in time, I start to become a little frustrated, and I'm just keeping my foot planted to the ground out of that last turn, nearly losing it. But I'm sure he'll make a mistake soon enough. Last lap. starting to go wide, the pressure is starting to get to him. Last turn. And uh, I bump him just a little bit corner and now it's a drag race and I somehow pull off gaining the position up four positions in both of these races I came in sixth which is not a bad result well thank you everyone please like and subscribe to my channel and I plan on bringing more entertaining daily content for you thanks again